Good morning, class. For today's lesson, we will start by naming the animals on the board. What do you call this animal? Yes, Angela, go on. It's a dog. Okay, that is wonderful, Angela. Very good. How about the others? How about you, Sophia? What do you call the next picture? It's a... Uh... Are you okay? Let's call somebody else. Let's take a seat. How are you feeling? You didn't participate well in your recitation today. Did something go wrong at home? I'm sorry for not answering the recitation today. I haven't eaten anything this morning. My mother didn't prepare any meal because she had to go out early to sell street food. Sophia, good luck on your class today. I'm sorry I didn't leave any food for you to eat before you go to school. I promise to bring you something when I come back this afternoon. Okay, Mom. Goodbye and be safe. Here you go. Eat so you can have the energy. If you'd like, you can help me sometimes when I'm having trouble carrying books or my bag in exchange for food. I would love that. Thank you so much. Sophia, can you please help me carry my bag as we go to the faculty room? Sure, teacher. Let me help you with that. Wow, look at all this food all over the floor. <laughs> you really did a great job to earn all of this by being a teacher's pet. You deserve it, Soph. What are you doing, Angela? Give me back my bag. No wonder our English teacher always calls for you. Is this some sort of reward for being her favorite student? Don't say that. Teacher is always very kind to me and I'm willing to help her as long as I can, at all times. Right. That's all a teacher's pet would say. You're such a shameless person, Sophia. Don't think too high of yourself. Teacher giving you food doesn't mean she truly cares for you. You're such a fool. Don't worry. I will talk to Angela and she will be sent to the guidance office immediately. So please don't cry anymore and let me help you pick that up. Is this why you're not eating at recess time? I want you to know that I didn't choose you because I just wanted to give you some food, but because I saw that you have great potential to develop, especially when you have that greatness in your heart. Oh. oh, it's too heavy and I have to go home. Let me give you a hand. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye, Sophia. Be safe. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Why is your bag so heavy? 
It's my surprise for you. Why is there so much food? Where did this come from? I help my teacher every day by carrying her bag and books. I erase the writings on the chalkboard and clean the room when my classmates went home. In return, she would give me food. I didn't eat the food given to me because I want to share and eat it with you. Wow! Chocolate! Thank you, Mom! I love you! I love you too. Thank you for your effort. Come on, let's eat already. And that's it. That's my childhood memory. I thank each and every one of you for being here with me today. If not for my teacher, I will not be standing here in front of all of you. This part of my life really drove me to where I am today. My dear teacher motivated me to persevere for my dreams and goals, whatever state of life I have. Pushing me that poverty is not a hindrance to success. We must be kind and lend our hands to people that needs help. And this inspired me to build a foundation for less fortunate ones with big dreams just like I used to be. That's a really inspiring story, Miss Sophia. But may we ask, what is the name of this foundation? Oh shoot, I am so sorry for the long story. I almost forgot that this is for the opening speech. To everyone here, may I all welcome you to the opening of Mabini Foundation. This was named before my wonderful teacher, Mrs. Luz Viminda Chodora Mabini, as a tribute for her. She will always be remembered. As I end my speech, I would still like to give thanks to Mrs. Luz for all her efforts and kind deeds. I promise I will follow the path you took and strive to be a good role model to all people as you were to me. Thank you.